In these problems, we're looking at logarithmic equations, and we're being asked to write them in exponential form. So it's really just kind of translating the logarithmic language into the exponential language, which maybe you're more familiar with. And remember, in logarithms, the base here is the number that's being raised to a power, being acted upon. So this one says log base 81 of 27 equals 3 fourths. And the power is always here. So this would be 81 to the 3 fourths power equals 27, which makes sense if you do the math on that. Take the fourth root of 81, that's 3, raise it to the third power, that's 27. Let's try another one. So here we have log base 32 of 8 equals 3 fifths. So remember, base 32 is the number that's being raised to the power. The power is over here, so 32 to the 3 fifths equals 8. All right, let's try one more. This one's maybe a little trickier because it says C equals log base 52 of B. And they're doing two things here. One is they wrote the equation in the other direction. So instead of seeing the power over here, it's over here. But it doesn't really change anything. This is still the power. The base is still the number that's being raised to the power. And this B is still the result. Of course, they plug in C and B in, in, instead of numbers here, so maybe that's a little confusing too, but we'll handle it the same way. This is going to be 52 raised to the power of C is going to equal B. So that's a little bit about writing logarithmic equations in exponential form.